Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Winter. If you're new here, if you are returning, thank you so much for tuning in. And as you guys can see by the title, today I'm going to be doing a apartment tour. Finally, I moved in this apartment August 1st of 2023. But we are now in March 2024, so don't come for me too bad in the comments for just now doing this video. I actually should have been did this video for y'all because when I moved in, my apartment was literally fully furnished like upon moving in. So it's really no excuse, but it's just been a lot going on. I've been super, super busy, but I might have a little, a little surprise. Like I might be moving soon. I'm not really going to announce too much or like say too much but i know for sure i'm not going to be in this apartment a whole nother year so i definitely wanted to make sure before any changes or anything happened that i did get this video out for you guys so without doing too much rambling let's just go ahead and get into it this is the door and i just have my keys on this little hook don't pay attention to that it was actually another hook to separate my keys i was just being extra but it came off the wall so just kind of ignore that once you come through the door here is my kitchen and living room area so first we're going to start with the kitchen over here to the left i have just this real cute circle mirror i got that from at home um it was actually pretty inexpensive i think it might have been like 40. And then right here is, this is technically my pantry because as you guys can see, I have a lot of cabinet space. I'm not even gonna open my pantry y'all right now because it is not organized. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna save myself the embarrassment. Um, and then in here, I just have a few things on my fridge. Um, nothing so important, just got some sticky notes of like little motivational um sayings or whatever and then just like some other things like to-do list so yeah and then once you go this way on my counter of course I have my iPad here um I have my hey google in the corner I have this cute little but first coffee thing I actually got this from at home as well let me just say majority of the things that you guys are going to see in this video it came from either at home or Amazon or Hobby Lobby um and then right here I just have my utensil holder just have a few little utensils in there over this way I have the infamous knife set I got that from Amazon um and then I have this wine rack and I actually need to put another bottle up there because I like when it looks full. And then right here, I just have this like acrylic calendar that I got from Target. If I can find the links to everything, you guys, I promise I will try to link them below. But if not, everything comes from Target at home, Hobby Lobby or Amazon. So then if we back up here, I have on top, I have a picture of my mom. And then I have... um my graduation degree as well as my graduation cap so not too much stuff is up there i just really wanted to put those things up there right here is my island so of course i just have some soap it's one of my favorite ones marshmallow fireside napkins here and then i just have this little centerpiece that i like to keep on my island and as y'all can see my flowers are actually dying but don't worry, I will be getting some new ones, hopefully tomorrow. I actually try to keep fresh flowers in my home because it just really brightens it up and flowers, of course, just makes me feel good, period. Um, pretty much everything here came from at home. Of course, the candle that is mahogany teak wood intense that came from Bath and Body Works. I have just this little thing. I just thought it was cute and it went with my aesthetics that I got from at home. This is my candle wick cutter. I got this from Crate and Barrel. And if you've seen my one of my reels on Instagram and on TikTok as well of an unboxing that I did, you will see that. This is just basically just little trinkets that I found at home that went with my aesthetic. And so I just wanted to put it here. And then, of course, this bubble candle, which I really, really love. Then... We come over here to the living room area. Nothing too major. So in the corner, I just have this black basket that I got from Crate and Barrel. Or no, not from Crate and Barrel. It came from CB2. My bad, y'all. 
the basket by itself was like a hundred a hundred bucks it's a nice size it's not too too big so if you just want something to fit like multiple throw blankets but not look so stuffed then I would not go with that one but I just thought it was really really cute and right now I have two throw blankets in it um don't really pay attention to this y'all because I just have some PR packages down there that I need to go through and then I have my computer sitting on top and I just got this new um denim Marc Jacobs bag which y'all may have seen um on my shorts that I posted the unboxing but I just felt like it was a cute little spot because the dust bag is white and black and I just felt like it went with my colors, of course. Um, and then I have this plant. This is literally my favorite, probably my favorite thing in my house because it's so cute, so sleek. It's a, um, a faux palm tree. I also got that from at home. This thing is probably a good six feet tall, maybe. So if I was to put my mirror next to it, it'll be... It'll be like really, really tall, but it looks really, really cute in pictures. Over here, I just have a candle. I got this candle from Hobby Lobby and it is coconut milk and patchouli and it smells so good. Even though I probably only lit that candle a couple of times, but I mainly just have it there for the color of it. And then I actually just recently got this plant. That plant I got from Target. I was looking for another one. It's very similar to that one. It's just a little bit bigger, but that was the closest one that I could find. So I went ahead and got that one. This is a touch lamp, so you can touch it three times. And I got that from Amazon. It's actually on my storefront. Also, let me just mention a lot of things. Anything that I got from Amazon is listed on my Amazon storefront if you guys wanna check it out, which I will have that listed below. But that lamp actually came in a pack of two. And originally I bought it to put it in my room, um, like on each nightstand, but I've changed my room up so many times. So for now I just put it here. And then of course here is my lovely couch. My couch is actually really big and deep. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I absolutely love it. I got it from Ashley Furniture. Um, and then I just have this black, um, knitted throw blanket across i think i got that throw blanket from amazon if i'm not mistaken um but you really can just put any black throw blanket honestly if your colors are like the new black aesthetic and then of course i just have two black pillows with the pillowcases i got both the pillows and the pillowcases from amazon um and then the two pillows that are behind those actually came with the couch so and then I got a poof. This poof is actually from Target. I'm sure you guys have seen it. And I was supposed to have gotten two, but I just didn't. <laughs> and then here I have this gray, I don't even know what to call this, but I got this tray thing from Target because I wanted to get kind of like this black end table to put that on with like a plant or something. But I just, I don't know, like I said, I'm so indecisive when it comes to home decorating and different things like that so I just bought that to hold all of my remotes um in it so that's what it has now right here this is really kind of the only thing besides the mirror that I have on the wall these are two pictures that I took um and then I just printed them out in black and white from Walmart and then I went to Target and got the frames for it and I just feel like it goes perfectly. That's also another favorite spot in my house. <laughs> now over here, when I get to my room. So y'all, once again, do not come for me in the comments, you guys, because my room would not look like this. It would look much, much better, like as far as the decor for my bed and my pillows and all of that stuff. But I am currently waiting for some new things to come in. Um, but then again, I may end up returning them. And the reason I decided to do the video before was because I may, once I move, I may size down to a queen size bed. I'm just not sure. So I didn't want to buy too much stuff for, for my bed. But as y'all can see, my colors are brown and nude, white and black. And so here I just have the Ikea lac shelf which I absolutely love and I just have a few decor pieces on it as well as my brown telfar bag 
candles candle holder just vases and just different things like that that i got from at home um over on this side you guys can't really see it but it's a white vase behind there um with some faux i forgot what you call it <laughs> with some faux pompous grass here um that's not that's actually not the right pompous grass that i wanted i got that from cb2 i believe um and it looked different in the picture but when i got it i was like well that's not really the kind i want but it'll do for now and as i said that is the other side lamp um from the one that's in the living room and i also got this cute furry stool that i just keep right here on the side of my bed to like put my phone and things like that when I go to sleep and then this is my Ikea mirror I got this from Ikea if you know you know this mirror is really really big it is a full body mirror and anytime you take pictures or anything like it shows your entire background so I absolutely love it this is my washroom area it's a little bit chaotic because I have so many throw blankets you guys every time I go to the store I always have to buy a new throw blanket but I really need to stop because at this point it's becoming a problem this right here is my closet you guys but I don't even know if I really want to show y'all too much of my closet because it looks terrible it is not organized that much but i guess i can show y'all a little bit so this is my closet um yeah it's yeah okay that's all we're gonna show for now because it's so like not even organized anymore here is my restroom this is one of my favorite places to be and so in the middle here i have a tray that I got from at home in the middle of the tray i just have my tom ford travel size black orchid perfume i just like how the box was this brown goldish color so of course it went with my aesthetic and then i put miss dior absolutely blooming in the middle and then these things i got from at home any vases you guys see i definitely got it from at home or hobby lobby but mainly at home so then I just took some of the pompous grass that was in my room and just put it in this little vase that I got. But again, this is not the right kind that I wanted. So I'm going to order a different, the one that I want. Then I just got this thing from um, Amazon, which is also listed in my storefront. It's a necklace and jewelry holder. So I just put a little Chanel earring here. And then I have some, um, some of my necklaces that I like wearing day to day on it. And then over here in the corner, I just have, of course, my mahogany teak wood candle. Here is my lovely shower. Um, this is the rainfall shower head, you guys. That actually came from Amazon as well, which is which will be listed on my storefront, y'all. If y'all invest in that shower head, let me just say, literally will be the best shower of your life. Okay. And then of course with the famous shower shelves, I also came from Amazon and will be on my storefront. So then right here, this is also, it's gonna look kind of chaotic y'all because this is my linen closet. It just has so much stuff, but it is organized. So I'm, I'm pretty proud about that. But this is basically what it's looking like. <laughs> I have so much perfume, I know. All of these black containers, you guys, I actually got from the Dollar Tree. So if you want to go to your local Dollar Tree, if you're looking for anything to organize stuff and you just want everything to coincide with one another, I would definitely say check your local dollar store because they have some really, really good finds in there. And so that's basically where I got them. They have like different sizes. I have the flat ones, as y'all can see. Um, so it worked out perfectly. Of course, I have all of my perfume here, um, which takes up most of my space. <laughs> At the top, those bags pretty much have all of my makeup and, you know, anything dealing with makeup are in those bags. And then I have my towels over here in the corner, as well as my, can my extra candles that I have um, at the bottom. And so just have like a little bit of my jewelry kind of spread out 
but that's really it i also let me show you guys also under here i have just like more organizing things this is a little bit chaotic as well but y'all get it i just keep my extra soaps from bath and body works down here and then on the other side i have pretty much all of my wax mills like all of my things that you know involve smelling good um i just keep back there and then i found this thing i believe from target and it kind of works out perfectly because y'all see it just holds a lot of stuff and then i this black basket i also got from the dollar tree and i just had the bright idea to put all of my um bar of soaps in there so that's basically what's in that coming back to the kitchen um i almost forgot this is one of my favorite purchases that I made for my apartment. Um, I got this from Target and it sits up pretty high to where if you're sitting at the bar trying to eat, you can still eat. But I was going back and forth if I wanted to buy like bar stools, but I was like, I may just wait until I move to get the bar stools. This little blue light thing, for those of you who don't know, that is for gnats. So y'all know gnats come very very easily but it works really really well in catching them over here if we go back to the door to the right side this is my um my coat closet and so i just have this is just a little bit chaotic i mean it's not too bad but i just have so much stuff you guys so i definitely need more space but this is my wig on a wig stand and then this thing i actually got this from at home as well um or no home goods i'm sorry i got that from home goods and it really came in handy because i wanted to kind of separate my tights and shorts and you know my sweats until i was able to get my dressers which as y'all can see my closet is not super big so i have not invested in my dresser that i want yet um but that is just another basket that i got from at home for more throw blankets as y'all can see i have so many throw blankets and then I just, of course, keep my vacuum and broom and Swiffer and all that good stuff in here, as well as my hookah. So that was pretty much the end of my apartment tour. Not too, not too major, you know, nothing too, nothing too big. Um, as I said, once I move, y'all, like my next apartment, y'all definitely will get a much, much better apartment tour. Um, things are going to be a lot different. Um, there are still things that I need to get, but like I said, I just wanted to wait until I moved to get some of those other things and to really, really decorate and set everything up how I want to because I didn't want to like buy too much stuff or like I have a vision for how I want my next apartment to be. I have a vision for where i'm gonna be like or i'll say where i want to be um but things could change so as of right now like it's it's definitely gonna look different but i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about where i may have gotten something from if i did not mention it or just whatever questions you may have please feel free, free to comment below leave me comments about what you guys want to see next because sometimes like me disappearing and it's really no excuse but sometimes my inconsistency is also because I don't always have like so much stuff to do so sometimes like I'll be overthinking and I'm like what if they don't what if they don't like what I be putting out like what if they're not interested in it what if it's boring like I don't always have you know to go to the mall or like things to do and stuff like that but I don't be wanting every clip to just be in my house so make sure you guys comment down below let me know what y'all thought about this video and what else you guys want to see um so thank you so much for tuning in and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video Bro, girl,